So a while back there were people requesting that I do like a little like get ready with me while I'm in Disney makeup tutorial like show what makeup I wear when I'm in Disney and stuff. So I figured I would bring that to you guys today. So first I'm gonna put my hair up. So the first thing I do, I take my Burt's Bees Chapstick. For primer, I've been using the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. It works really good. It's moisturizing, so especially in like the winter time, it helps your skin if you have dry skin. So I usually use this, but I brought this little one with me. It's the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. For a lot. I moved to my face makeup. Usually when I'm in Disney, I don't really wear like face makeup, but I'm gonna show you guys some products that I have. I didn't bring all my like really good things because I don't really wear great makeup when I'm on vacation. I left my Makeup Forever foundation back at home. That's a really good one that I use a lot, but it's full coverage. This is a really good one. It's the Dream Velvet by Maybelline. I only brought this because I use the self tanner, so I'm a little tanner than I normally am. And this is one of my darker foundations, so I brought this just because I knew that it would be like darker. I did bring one full coverage foundation just for like if we go to a nice dinner or like something where I want to like actually do my makeup. So this is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This foundation is amazing. I'm the color 26 Bisque Medium. I haven't used this one yet while I was here, but normally every day when I'm home and when I'm here, I use the Physicians Formula BB Cream. It works super, super well. It's not like that full coverage. I don't really use super full coverage foundations anyway, unless I like have something to do, but like I don't like wearing foundation every day. Take my damp beauty blender and I rub it. Today, I'm not gonna wear concealer. I don't like wearing a lot of concealer when I just have BB cream on because I feel like it looks like I have too much under my eyes. So I just take a little extra BB cream and just put that under my eyes. I like to rub the beauty blender on my eyelids also just because I don't wear eyeshadow really and I don't want my eyelids to be a different color than the rest of my face. But I will show you guys the concealer that I recommend. This is the Naked Skin Concealer. I'm the color Light Neutral. This stuff works amazing, whether it's covering under eye circles, like blemishes, whatever it is, this is a lifesaver. I also use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and Foundation. I like both of them. My next step is I take my little Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I got the travel one for the trip because I didn't feel like bringing the big one. And then I just take a beauty blender and I just dab it in here and set. And I usually do my under eyes because I usually have concealer on if I have foundation on, but we don't today, so we're just gonna put, like, just tap a little bit on. And then up here, put on your eyelids because we just put on um, some of our BB cream on our eyelids. Usually I bake and I let it sit and the whole night, but we don't have time for that. So I just take a small little brush and just Brush it off a little bit. Next, I'm going to do my brows. I use the Gimme Brow by Benefit. Can't even see it, so I'm focused, whatever. I'm not beauty guru whatsoever. I really like this because it's like a mascara for your eyebrows. And it has these little, like, follicles that, um really like grab onto your actual hair so it's not like a pencil where it's kind of like drawing on which makes your brows look even fuller even if you have eyebrows i really don't have eyebrows i dye them um but this thing works miracles oops 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 oh god also another recommendation is the Dior brow gel also works really good. It has the little um, follicles, particles, I really don't know what they're called, but for some reason I think I like the Gimme Brow one a little bit better. I love them both and I use them both, but. Next, we're gonna take our Too Faced Bronzer Chocolate Soleil and just kinda even out our skin 
with our neck because I don't like to put foundation down my neck I feel like it makes my neck look cakey and that's just not necessary so I usually just take bronzer and just like even out everything and then just to add a little structure we take another bronzer this is the Lisa Frank X Glamour Dolls Bitten and Bronze Matte Bronzer. This color is a little bit different than my regular bronzer, so I use this to contour. Really don't know how to contour. I kind of just take it on a different brush and like go like this. And I do the same thing on the other side. Super sloppy, super whatever. And then I just take the excess on my jawline and under my chin. And that's it. For blush, I use the Tarte Blush in Feisty. Just a little bit. So you don't look like your face is all one color. I normally don't do this every day and I definitely don't wear highlighter every day. But since I'm making this video, I figured I'd like show you guys like my products and stuff. I'm not putting on highlight today. But when I do wear a highlight, I wear the Morphe Highlight in Spark. Moving on to mascara. I use the Too Faced Mascara. Just like a regular basic girl on YouTube. I only like to wear top mascara because I feel like the bottom mascara sometimes like runs I guess onto your like under eyes especially if you have concealer on and it just gets messy and I just think personally I think I look way better with just top mascara on sometimes I'll wear bottom mascara especially if I have like false lashes on I don't even wear mascara every day but when I do I usually just wear it on the top my mascara is on Sometimes it's a little like too clumpy, so I take um, a random CoverGirl mascara. I use the green one, the purple one, and the orange one. I have no idea what they're called, um, but I really like the brushes, so I'll just go back in with that. This one literally has like no mascara left in it. I just like it for the brush, um, so I just go over it with a brush that I like to kind of brush out my lashes so they're not so clumped together. Mascara's on. Next, we actually shape our brows. So I use this Smashbox eyeshadow in the color Cruise. I use this random brush. I just fill in spots that the brow gel didn't get. Cause like over here it's kind of like sparse and whatever. I like to use this mirror because I feel like the lighting is better on it, but that's fine. Alright, I think brows are good. Alright, I think we're pretty much done with our makeup look. I think we did everything. Then I go in with my Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. This stuff is amazing. It literally glues your makeup to your face, especially if you live in Florida. I recommend this. I use a lot of it. That's pretty much it. These are my favorite earrings. I got them on Etsy. I forget the name of the shop. I buy all these things on Etsy and I don't remember the name of the shop and then people ask me and I'm like, you gotta just look on Etsy because I always forget. I never buy things from the same people. I always just look for what I'm looking for and then if someone has it, then I'll just buy it from them. Ta-da! So these are the earrings, they're super cute. Dangle silver abstract cross. I'm obsessed with them, they're the cutest thing ever. I love them. That's pretty much all I do. Maybe I'll make another one when I like actually do more. Cause I really just wear BB cream and mascara and I fill on my eyebrows, I don't do anything. Super crazy. So if you guys like this, let me know in the comments and I will definitely consider making another get ready with me and go like more in depth with the products, use different products, like whatever. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys wanna see because I will definitely take that into consideration. Um, but yeah, so we're ready, let's go start our day. I'm filming a video. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just telling you we have to go right now. Okay, I'm filming a video right now. After my, sorry. Yeah, after I'm done with the video. Okay. Okay. Promise? Promise. Okay. Love you. Love you.